Good morning, Cheney UMC and friends. My name is Stan Kerr, and welcome to this week's Lexio Divina. Uh, we're in Ponderay County at Sashine Lake. A beautiful morning, and this morning we will be in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verses 4 through 14. Let's see what God has in store for us on this glorious day. Our welcoming words today. As Jesus' people, we are part of a story that originated in the eternal heart of God, was carried out through the redemptive mission of the Son, and continues in the sending of the Holy Spirit and in the commissioning of the Church in the power of that Spirit. And our opening prayer. Almighty and merciful God, we come to you with our hearts filled with gratitude. We give you thanks for your living word for Jesus Christ. Through his life, his suffering, and his resurrection, he brought in all its fullness to those who believe in him. We give you thanks for your word, the Bible. Through it you speak to us, and this encounter changes our lives. As you prepare for this time of sacred reading or Lexio Divina, I encourage you to quiet your heart and mind for this time with God. Take a moment to, to light a candle and to find a very comfortable place. We're going to be practicing a couple of different breathing exercises in the upcoming weeks. Today is two breaths in and a slow exhale out. So as you inhale, Hold that breath, take a second breath in and push the first one even deeper, and then exhale slowly. God speaks to us through the sacred scriptures, letting us know that he has unconditional love for us. The scripture will be read for a total of three times. In the first reading, listen closely for a word or phrase, or perhaps it's an image or feeling that speaks to you as the scripture is read. Slowly repeat that word or phrase to yourself a couple of times. This is a time of conversation and prayer between you and God. Opening up your feelings is encouraged for this conversation with God. Those feelings from abundantly joyful to those desperately difficult. After each reading, use the silence that follows to reflect on that word or phrase or that image or feeling and consider it as a spiritual gift from God that he wants you to use. Asking God how to use this spiritual gift is part of today's Lectio Divina. If nothing speaks to you, or you're uncertain of what you're doing, pray boldly and without hesitation to God with unbelievable faith. God will answer you. Trust that God understands you. If your mind wanders, slowly bring it back to your listening to the scripture as you receive this gift of scripture from God. Please hear God's word. The Lord of heavenly forces, the God of Israel, proclaims to all exiles I have carried off from Jerusalem to Babylon. Build houses and settle down. Cultivate gardens and eat what they produce. Get married and have children. Help your sons find wives and your daughters find husbands in order that they too may have children. Increase in number so that you don't have to dwindle away. Promote the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because your future depends on its welfare. The Lord of heavenly forces, the God of Israel, proclaims, Don't let the prophets and diviners in your midst mislead you. Don't pay attention to their dreams. 
They are prophesying lies to you in my name. I didn't send them, says the Lord. The Lord proclaims, when Babylon's 70 years are up, I will come and fulfill my gracious promise to, to bring you back to this place. I know the plans I have in mind for you, declares the Lord. They are plans for peace, not disaster, to give you a future filled with hope. When you call, call me and come, and, and come to pray to me, I will listen to you. When you search for me, yes, search for me with all your heart, you will find me. I will be present for you, declares the Lord, and I will end your captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and places where I have scattered you, and I will bring you home after your long exile, declares the Lord. As you listen for a second time, allow that word or phrase, or perhaps it was a feeling or image that caught your attention, to continue to stir your thoughts and feelings to a deeper level of reflection. In your mind's eye, consider what you see when you see that word or phrase surrounded by a bright white light. Go slowly, allow God time to say, all that he wants to say to you today. The Lord of heavenly forces, the God of Israel, proclaims to all the exiles that I have carried off from Jerusalem to Babylon. Build the houses and settle down. Cultivate gardens and eat what they produce. Get married and have children. Increase in number so that you don't have to dwindle away. Promote the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because your future depends on its welfare. The Lord of heavenly forces, the God of Israel, proclaims, Don't let the prophets and diviners in your midst mislead you. Don't pay attention to your dreams. They are prophesying lies to you in my name. I didn't send them, declares the Lord. The Lord proclaims, When Babylon's seventy years are up, I will come and fulfill my gracious promise to bring you back to this place. I know the plans I have in mind for you, declares the Lord. They are for peace, not disaster, to give you a future filled with hope. When you call me and come and pray to me, I will listen to you. When you search for me, yes, search for me with all your heart, you will find me. I will be present for you, declares the Lord, and I will end your captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and places where I have scattered you, and I will bring you home after your long exile, declares the Lord.
Talk honestly with God about whatever you're feeling. What are his invitations to you today? How are you being called to respond to God's word? And what do you need from God right now? The Lord of heavenly forces, the God of Israel, proclaims to all the exiles I have carried off from Jerusalem to Babylon. Build houses and settle down. Cultivate gardens and eat what they produce. Get married and have children. Then help your sons find wives and your daughters find husbands in order that they too may have children. Increase in number so that you do not have to dwindle away. Promote the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because your future depends on its welfare. The Lord of heavenly forces, the God of Israel, proclaims, Don't let the prophets and diviners in your midst mislead you. Don't pay attention to your dreams. They are prophesying lies to you in my name. I didn't send them, declares the Lord. The Lord proclaims, When Babylon's seventy years are up, I will come and fulfill my gracious promise to bring you back to this place. I know the plans I have in mind for you, declares the Lord. They are for peace, not disaster, to give you a future filled with hope. When you call me and come and pray to me, I will listen. When you search for me, yes, search for me with all your heart, you will find me. I will be present for you, declares the Lord, and I will end your captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and places where I have scattered you, and I will bring you home after your long exile, declares the Lord. Rest now in the presence of God. Your thoughts and feelings right now, during this time of silence and conversation with God, has been his gift to you. For a few moments, simply close your eyes and allow the silence and the message from God to rest in you. Let us close in prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that we are your beloved children. We want to know you more 
and pray that as we seek you through your word and come before your throne of grace in power and praise, you will show us more of yourself. Instill in our hearts a desire to seek you more and search for you with our whole heart. And we pray that we will discover a depth of your perfect character that we have never seen before. Let us reflect you in thought, word, and deed as Christ is being formed in us. In his name we pray. Amen.